my entire life, you've always been sort of that blonde, that <laughs> going from varying degrees of like I was born slight... like that. The dynamic that we have between the two of us, even though there are times that we leave this podcast in my mind, because I'm always business. Yep, yep. <laughs> I'm like, was that entertaining enough? Are they going to find it? too dull did did we i'm always right i guess psychoanalyzing and i am so proud of what we have accomplished here but we feed off the comments and our subscribers our subscribers to this channel mean the world to us Season two. Season two. We're back. Man, we're back. <laughs> we're back. And and we've changed a little bit. What's changed since uh, last season and this season? Uh, well, I mean, looking first off, I noticed we've got a few more chairs around. We Is do. That possibly a hint towards mm, something in the future. It's a little something, something. Yeah, we're gonna we're gonna actually have a few guests come on. Uh, which is really great, but has anything else changed? Well, <laughs> given from your not so subtle uh, pointing towards yourself, uh, I can't you've believe you haven't noticed it. A little makeover, a little makeover with your hair. I did. I did that last week, didn't mm -hmm. I? Oh yeah, I remember. You were calling me on the way home, telling me that traffic was falling apart. Yeah. Everyone turning their the heads. Paparazzi was following me. To look at me, you, cameras sure. flashing, for roads sure, closed. For sure. As I was in the car driving, I could like people were, cars were crashing. Uh, I was pretty sure I saw the paparazzi as well. It's like that, it was like yeah. that scene out of the first Austin Powers movie where he's just running away from a crowd of women and you're just in the street, just like, oh. <laughs> right. <laughs> exactly. It was almost just like that. Almost exactly. Yeah. Yes, yes. <laughs> Your cousin Marissa did it. Mm -hmm. And uh, I can't remember now uh, because of the memory issues. Did I tell you that I was doing this before I left the house? You told me you were thinking about it. Oh, I did. Okay. You told okay. me that you did it okay. after you had gotten it, but you had told me that you were considering it. I do think the conversation did go something like, be aware. <laughs> yeah, pretty, pretty much. Pre like Prepare when, yourself. There's a bit of a difference in your mother. When you told me, it was almost like a warning. <laughs> was, yeah, very much, very much. And maybe that was because I didn't want you to not like it. Who knows? Who knows? Who well, knows? Well, sure, but I mean, but like... But I did completely change. It's uh, chocolate brown with yep. some red, and it's... Um, I'm getting a lot of great feedback, that's for yeah, sure. Yeah, you have been, and... Yeah, honestly, like, obviously at first it takes a little bit of getting used to because for me, like, my entire life, you've always been sort of that blonde that <laughs> going from varying degrees of, like, slight, like that. slightly brownish blonde yeah. to the brighter, depending, but yep. you've always had that blonde in your hair, so when you walked in and you were the pure, the pure chocolate <laughs> brown, like, I was like, whoa. Like, it's something you can't really <laughs> picture until you see it for yourself, but that being said, your face said you it do, all. You do pull it off. Like it oh, does look yeah? great. On you. Oh, yeah. thank you. Oh, thank you. Well, of course, it's the truth. I, uh, I, you know, some people. I did. I did a post to kind of let everybody know. And in that <laughs> post, it definitely looked a little bit more red. Because, but I think it's because I had. I have got the moon roof, so it, it was dark um, in that picture. It's yeah. definitely a bit darker. But as I'm shocking everybody that I see uh the feedback's been really really good about it right so yeah. I feel like um you know when you're 57 there's no rules other than the laws of our land to follow and of course our real estate rules which I would never break um and I just kind of went the blonde I was having some issues in my hair anyways for the last two years uh Ever since Bless we her moved, heart, Marissa. Yeah. She's been doing my hair since we moved uh, to Quinty. Um, and, and it's been a struggle to keep the blonde in. We're not sure mm -hmm. if it's just the water. We're not sure if 
all of a sudden my hair has changed. So I'm right. like, let's do a change, a total change. Well, this isn't even the first major change that you've done in the last year regarding your hair. You also cut it a lot shorter than you usually do. You used to have it like closer to shoulder length. Uh, past, yeah. yeah. Yeah, shoulder length and yeah. past. And then one day you're like, boom. I'm going to do short. It was it was eerily similar to how you did it when you <laughs> decided to change your well, hair color. You just called me sure and you're just was. like, what if I did my hair a little shorter? I'm like, well, you can try it because, I mean, what if, what happens if you don't like it? You let it grow back it'll out. It'll grow. And it'll grow back healthier, too. It definitely yeah, needed exactly. a whole. And then a couple days later, I got the call saying, I cut my hair shorter. <laughs> just letting you know, <laughs> when I walk in that door, you're going to be surprised. And just like this, when everyone saw it, their first reaction was, oh, my God. And then I their know. immediate follow-up was, that looks really good on looks you. So much better. Yeah. So much better. So much better. That's the feedback I was getting. And and I'm getting the feedback with this. So mm -hmm. uh, hopefully everybody likes it. But hopefully. Uh, this is here to stay for quite a while, let me tell you. Yeah, I, I remember <laughs> you were first sort I think. of pondering the idea of colors. You were really thinking about the brown. And I remember in the back of my head, like, what if you just went full blown with like a neon green or a blue or something? I'll listen like, to just, you. Just go full. Could you imagine? Yeah. Because, again, sooner, never or, late, never, sooner or later, the color will come out. You can never change it to never. something else. The hair is the easiest thing to do whatever you want with it because it's it only takes a little while for it to go back to how it was before. Spoken like a true male. Yeah, there isn't exactly right. a lot of wiggle room let, I have with my hair. Let me make this <laughs> perfectly clear. Every woman listening to this right now <laughs> is going to say that's not true. If we don't like the way our hair looks... We won't go out yeah. the door. So. I mean, that's true. I don't have a lot of wiggle room with my hair. Every year, it seems like there's less and less of that wiggle room. <laughs> it is what it is. It, you can't yeah, change exactly, it. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. So, uh, yeah, that's change number one. We're going to have some guests. So we are yep. going to be reaching out to some people that we've already created a list on who we would love to come in mm -hmm. and be part of the podcast and talk to them. I'm really looking forward to our next episode where mm. we've got somebody pretty special to us coming in and, and going to be talking. Right. Um, but I also wanted to take this moment because we are being sponsored today, of course. Mm, yes, we are. Uh, you guys are going to be seeing the logo and you're going to be seeing their contact info right here below. Uh, thank you. Shout out to the Oak and Ale because, Austin, they have graciously donated a hundred dollar gift yes, certificate check have. that out everybody uh what a thank you for that that's that's going to get the winner an incredible meal incredible drinks two yeah. locations in whippy one at the north end one at the south end I want to throw this in because today it is the hottest day so far. So far, yep. 34 degrees Celsius. We're Celsius here in Canada. Yep. I still think Fahrenheit, not going to lie to you. But really? we are 34 degrees Celsius. It's extremely hot. Who doesn't want to sit on a patio? Yeah. And you know what? They Listen. have incredible patios. At the time of this recording, Father's Day is coming up. So... Hey, that could be a perfect opportunity for you to get some bonding in. And not pay for it. And not pay for it. Even so, better. What are they Any dad do? will appreciate. Well, you know, it's simple. It's crazy, really. You would think that getting a hundred dollars would be a really involved process, but it's actually really simple. You just gotta like the video. You gotta leave a comment on any, any. of our videos. Yes. And you gotta subscribe. One, three two, things. three. Easy peasy. Yeah. That's what gets you in. So I wanted to take this moment. Thank you to the Oak and Ale. We, mm -hmm. we truly appreciate you. And uh, we're going to run this probably one more time. So your limit to get in on this giveaway is getting tight. Uh, so make sure you do it today. And then we're going to be running it as well in our next episode. And then we're giving it away. And then we'll announce the winner. But I wanted to do a shout out because Ooh. I am so proud of what we have accomplished here at this podcast and our last episode Austin we talked about um you know what our favorite things looking were, back at season kind of one like a yeah recap and of course we did the trailer yeah. for this a great trailer for this by the one. way yeah um I'm we're getting I gotta read some of the comments and I'm and the reason that I'm doing this is we can produce the content yep 
But we feed off the comments and our subscribers. Mm -hmm. Our subscribers to this channel mean the world to us. And I thought, we haven't talked about this, but I brought my phone. Um, I, I really felt like it was important to share what some of the comments have been because Ooh. this is why we're doing this. Okay, okay, let's, let's Just do it. Just to bring a smile on people's Especially faces. in the last few weeks, I've noticed the feedback's gotten a lot stronger and a lot more positive, I feel like, so. For the most part, yeah. it's all been positive. Yeah. Did get a couple of haters. Oh, we've but talked that was about on them. To, no, well, not on, <laughs> yeah, well, we did. Well, maybe. Okay, so um, I wanted to do this. This lovely uh, subscriber does comment now over the last probably two or three of our podcasts. Mm -hmm. uh, they've been commenting. It's at uh, Bovlog, I believe, if I'm saying that correctly. But Austin, they've commented quite a bit. Mm -hmm. Hi, Tara. Congratulations on season one finale of this Crazy Life podcast. Episode 13 was an incredible wrap up to an amazing season. Your insights, energy, and positivity have been so inspiring. Can't wait for season two. Keep up the fantastic work. Oh, that's so nice. Thank uh, you so and much. And you can for that. go back on yeah. some of the other comments that, that uh, this subscriber has made. Thank you mm -hmm. very much. Um, oh, Joe and Terry Davies, who won our yes, giveaway. Yes, they did. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> I did not contact them, to be honest. I didn't contact them to tell them that they won. Because part of me was like, it's going to be announced. We just announced it. Yes. And I thought, I'll, I'll see if they've listened just to see. Of course, I was going to this week. Right. Let them know. They replied, oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, they saw it. They saw and it. And then I got messages on WhatsApp. Yeah. When can, you know, when are we going to get it? Can we see the both of you? So they want both of us oh, to deliver. Which, okay. Um, and then we have, of course, at Jay Granahan. A great season. Congrats to you both. It's truly impossible to pick a favorite episode. They all reach out and draw in the listener as you share your stories. I'm really looking forward to the next season. And that's a wrap. Ah, uh, well written and well said. Thank you very much. Thank you. Yeah. And that's only, that's only a couple. I mean, I could read... A lot of them, but we really appreciate everybody and we really appreciate when you comment. And guess what? They're entered. Yeah. They're entered. Those into are the all draw. entries into the draw. Right. Yeah. If you leave a comment, and of course, you're out of the country or out of the vicinity where this particular draw might not be applicable to you, we'll substitute it with some something else oh yeah we'll find okay. something for you and i think that's also important to share is that we do read every comment we see what you guys are saying so yeah listen those comments that enter you into these draws they can be anything they can just be hey listen just give me the thing i think that actually was one comment just like oh yeah the draw <laughs> oh the draw <laughs> at, at one point but hey, listen entered. listen yeah. uh Who we're, want free we're stuff? always eager to see what everyone thinks so even one of those comments could just be saying, hey, what if you guys talked about this or what are your thoughts on this? Right. We can talk about that in a future episode. We're always, we're always watching. We're always watching. Yeah. And you know, and this goes back to exactly why we started this for those that know about your mental health journey and how this whole thing came, came up in January. Yeah. Um, I, I think this is a testament to the hard work that you've put in uh, this, you know, when they're making comments, the dynamic that we have between the two of us, even though there are times that we leave this podcast in my mind, because I'm always business. Yep. Yep. <laughs> I'm like, was that entertaining enough? Are they going to find it too dull? Did, did we, I'm always, right. I guess, psychoanalyzing. And when I see comments like that over a, a podcast or season finale, that was a recap of our favorite moments. Yeah. It resonated with people just like the other podcasts have. So congratulations, my son. Oh, well, thank you. I'm very, very proud of the work that you've done. 
And congratulations to you too. Going back to that first comment, something that they said, which I think was really important, was about the positivity of it. And I think from the very get-go, when this was just in its concept stages, you and I very much wanted this to be a positive yes. podcast. One where yes. we talk about silly things, we talk about our lives, and yeah, we delve into you know more serious topics like my struggles with mental illness, your struggles with cancer, but in the end, we always want to loop that back around to something positive. Right. Because, listen, yep. life's crazy. We can't change that, but we can talk about it. <laughs> oh, I think I've heard but, that before. <laughs> but and. in the end, like even in the darkest of times, that's something we wanted to say. It can get rough. We, You can't avoid that forever. But it's always possible to find some light, even in the darkest times. You know, that's where it becomes mind over matter. Yeah. Right. And I think that even um, it's very difficult for us, anybody on a normal day to try to find positivity. I remember. Mm, Story time. Story. It may be. It may be. Um, when we used to, when you guys were really little and you were going to school and and public school right through to high school when when we would have dinners, you know, mm -hmm. we usually ate between five and five thirty and we'd all be at the table. Yeah. I remember, you know, you guys would walk in the door if you had a bad day. I mean, you'd spew it out, right? Oh, mom, this happened and that happened. Like, yeah, of course, yeah. of course. But I always remember when you guys were really little that it was, for any of us, it's always easier to focus on the negative mm -hmm. things that have happened in our day. Yep. And I remember when we would eat, it became a ritual that we would start eating and then I would eventually say... <laughs> tell me something good that happened today. Mm -hmm. And I would start with you. And I, then I would go to your brother and it would really be easy for you guys to go, you so-and-so bullied me or so-and-so. Oh, but course, that's yeah. not what I wanted to hear. No, no. What I wanted to hear was you guys forget the negative that day and tell me the good. Right. And you always, no matter how bad your days were, even including your dad, no matter how bad the day was, it still made your mind find something good. Right. And I remember sometimes it was a struggle. Oh, yeah. <laughs> and then I would be like, was it sunny today? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we would appreciate the Did suggestion. Did you eat your sandwich? <laughs> right? Just to get that mind to focus on positive rather than negative. Yeah. And I think that was a good thing that you did because, listen, I think anyone could tell you that it's e very easy to let just one bad moment ruin your whole week. Like, oh. like all, all it takes is just that one thing 100%. to go wrong and that's yeah. what your mind will focus on. Because it's a strong memory and there's a lot of emotion in there. It happens, it's normal, but it's important for you to find that even in a bad day, it wasn't all bad. There's always something there that you yeah. can latch onto that's positive. Which, again, goes back to our mission statement with the podcast of, yeah, we can't avoid all the bad times, but there's always light there whether you realize it or not. Well, we we're just, just have to think about we're it. We're just laughing through life with a mom and her son. Why? I think I've heard oh that before, God, too. Oh, my God. I rocked it. I <laughs> rocked it. I did not mess that up, except for it's in the middle of the podcast, not the end. Oh, but don't worry. We'll retake it at the end so we can get a blooper. <laughs> <laughs> can you guys behind the scenes just use that? Uh, so that's great news. Um, I also have um, something that's pretty exciting. It's exciting for me. Mm. Our... Uh, a previous family doctor of, of 35 years, uh, who's also a client of yes. ours over yeah. the last three years, yep. has been a regular client of mm -hmm. Terra Lee Real Estate Group. Um, we were in the middle of doing some business the other day, and and she kind of just was like, what are, you, what are you doing? And it was Monday as the episode was getting, you know, right, of course, yeah. we, we, we watch it like it's of a course, big theater yeah. event, you know. Always watch it um, live every Monday at 7. Exactly. So she was messaging me and, and she, you know, what are you doing? And I said, oh, I'm just waiting for our podcast to drop. It's going to drop in about five minutes. I had forgotten to tell her that we were doing this podcast. <laughs> I mean, when I'm, ta we're talking about business, we're talking, you know what I mean? Yeah. It, 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 
I didn't really bring the personal in. She always asks about you and your brother. Right. Uh, of course, I was pregnant. She was, you she, know. She was she our was doctor our too, GP, yeah. You know, so she's known you since when you were in my womb. Um, so, you know, I'm like, oh my goodness, I forgot to tell you, you know, wow. Austin and I have started this. We're hoping that Andrew's going to be able to be a guest from time to time, you know, da, 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 da. And she was like, what? <laughs> so I was able to go on and YouTube while I was waiting for, uh, the premiere to start, yeah. um, and send her a couple of the links, but you know, we, we had 13 episodes. So yeah. I was like, which one? And I'm like. I'm going to send her the mental health one mm. and I'm going to send her episode one. Uh, yeah. So I, I sent the link via text to her and she started watching your mental health one. Well, in that video, we talked about how she was our first point of contact right. the very next day. And, yeah. and she got us you into therapy that yep. anyway. Um, so she started watching it and she texts me a little bit later and she goes, this is heavy stuff, yeah. but this is incredible. Mm -hmm. She was like, I'm so proud. So, you know, just keep that with you. <laughs> keep that with you. Yeah. Well, I mean, I, I think I said this during our season finale, uh, but yeah, looking back, that's probably one of the episodes I'm more, if not most proud of from the first season. Yeah. Because, again, that was sort of our first foray into a more serious podcast. And like I've said before, and I'll say Very again, much. I don't like thinking about that part of my life that much. Yeah. But it it seems like it's been resonating really strongly with a lot of people, and I'm very yeah. grateful for that. Well, you, you're you grateful for that, and I think everybody is grateful for you sharing that story and your journey. Yeah. Um, we knew when we when we came out of the room, and, and maybe we'll talk about that in our next episode, uh, that it impacted uh, the people that were sitting here doing the producing and directing as well. Mm -hmm. So that's, it's great. So, you know, again, I just want to do another shout out. Thank you to everybody that's been listening. Um, you know, it, we're very grateful and the feedback Absolutely. is phenomenal. Absolutely. We love each and every one of you. Every single one of you. Even you, Jim. I know you're watching. Jim. Jim Bob. <laughs> okay, great. So what else do you got in store? What's going on? Well, there's actually something else I've been working on. We talked about it a little bit the last time we were in here for recording, uh, privately. But early on in the podcast, we had this little thing where we would sort of play games with each other. Yeah. Donkey Kong Country being the main one. Uh, I've been working on so a little something myself, a little, I guess, an extension of that almost. Something a little okay. more focused on uh, the video game side of myself. It's coming together. I've been working on the script, gathering footage. I'm looking forward to seeing how this turns out. It's going to be just sort of a review of something that I played a lot in my childhood and seeing how it holds up. You're reviewing a particular game? A particular game. Okay. Uh, and what I want to do is I'm going to come in, going to record it, get it edited. We're going to put it out, see what the response is. And if it's strong enough, maybe I'll make it an ongoing thing. Just... Doing my own little separate uh, game reviews. This Crazy Life Gaming, maybe. I'm loving this <laughs> so much right now. Yep, I'm but loving that's, it. that's what I've been working on sort of every night when the real estate work's done. We've had dinner and everything. I'll just uh, hop on, gather some footage, start writing out the script. So I've okay. been working on that. I'm hoping at least by maybe the end of next week, I'll have it all done and I can maybe come in and start actually recording it. So look forward to that whenever it drops. All right. So once once you do, you have it fully done, fully edited, then, you know, we'll do a promo for that. Yeah. Right? So that's, you know, wow. <laughs> Again, this, this goes back to why we decided to do this. Mm-hmm. Um, and I feel like had we not have taken this opportunity that, that was given us because we had become associated with this production yeah. company, um, had we not have taken this opportunity to create this podcast, mm -hmm. uh, to bring that little bit of light into your life, a little more light, yeah. 
um, now your creative genes are, you know, yeah. are working and working and working and you're creating and developing other things. And yeah, because I, I love that. For I you. remember we were thinking about it, we were talking about it privately. I just sort of had that idea in the back of my head and I sort of shared it with you and uh, producer Dan and you were like, yeah, go for it. And producer Dan, he jumped right on and he's like, absolutely. Come on in. We'll do it. Yeah. So that's what I've been sort of quietly uh, toiling on in the background, just While trying selling to get houses. that done. <laughs> While selling houses. Hey, who knows? Maybe this coming week we'll have some more. Well, we've got a lot of listings coming we do. up. I, yep. I tell you. We're busy uh, beavers. Yeah, managing the number of listings that we have right now is uh, is a full-time job. I'm yep. happy to do it. We've got a lot more coming. I am grateful to be sitting across from uh, from my son. I'm grateful for you. Uh, we're grateful to the Oak and Ale Yep. Again, yep. Here's thank you very much for info. sponsoring. Don't forget, everybody, we've got a $100 gift certificate to give away. It's a great night out. And I love that you said Father's Day is coming up because I think this is perfect oh, for yeah. Father's Day. <laughs> oh, maybe I can uh, get an extra gift card for my dad. <laughs> <laughs> Dave, I think you know where you're going for Father's Day. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Uh, I don't want to steal the card from someone else, though. That'll be that'll be You'll just for you, lovely own. subscribers. Buy yep. your own. You yep. can't win this one. But just remember, it's easy to win it. You just got to like, comment, and subscribe. That's it. All that's right, it. kid. And that's a wrap. That's we'll it. We'll see you, see next, you one. next week. All right.